this is my first major injury that I've ever had, um, so it was a, something new for me to go through. Um, but you know, I really feel that it is a choice. You know how you choose to look at things and your outlook. You know, you can feel sorry for self. It's easy to have a pity party and, and get down and think, why me? Why am I having to go through this? This is miserable. But you know, it was something that just needed to be done. It's always something where I can find a way to deal with pain. That's not an issue, but knowing that you know I'm following the doctor's orders, I'm not doing anything too aggressive coming back, but at the same time pushing it enough that I get back as quickly as possible. It was finding that balance that was the, the biggest thing for me. Good, and turn facing this way. During the surgery, we found two areas of the Achilles tendon that were torn, both medially and laterally. The lateral portion started to pull off the bone. Uh, the peroneal tendons also had tears in them. So what's done surgically, the back of the Achilles tendon is temporarily detached. The back of the heel bone is smoothed down and then the Achilles tendon is reattached. And that's, that's what takes a longer portion of the Three. healing. Three, four, pause a little longer, five, Six, come back a little bit slower. There you go. Eight, good. I remember seeing a doctor in high school who saw the Haglund's deformity on my heel and, and definitely said, at some point, you're going to need to get this operated on. And, you know, I feel lucky that it wasn't, didn't get really bad before this. And, and when it did, you know, I was still able to compete and have a good race in Chicago. And, um, you know, I, I feel blessed, really, with, of the timing of it all, that I was able to get operated on right after the marathon in October and have plenty of time to come back. You know, definitely disappointed to miss a spring marathon, but if that's the only thing that I have to miss and I can come back, you know, better than ever this fall and, and God willing, next year in 2020, then it'll be great. You know, I think sometimes people think that when you get injured, it's a lot of just sitting around and not doing anything, but it's, it's been quite the opposite. You know, I really put in a full day and have been putting in full days for a long time now. The important with this is to help the body start that remodeling process. Now with Galen, what we see, his scar actually, if you look at the color, it turned quite light, which uh, it's a good sign. Uh, eventually it will turn to a skin color, something you will see like even a lighter uh, color than the, the skin. And this is a good sign now. Actually, uh, now yet. we see a little bit of bump here. The whole goal for us up to that 18 months mark for this car to be absolutely smooth. We don't want anything that's gonna cause some chafing uh, down the road, running, uh, blistered and all that stuff, so we want to avoid. Four, two, three, four, five, six, good. You know, right now I'm running three out of every four days. You know, I get in about 11 miles outside, um, you know, between the Alter-G regular treadmill, you know, the Alter-G is at 99%, so it's basically at full weight. Um, but I get 11 miles in there. Um, the fourth day, you know, I usually take a, a day off from running outside, but still in the hydro works. You know, I put in 12 miles in there this morning. Um, and I'll ride the bike for an hour and a half and do some intervals and mixed with that. You know, that was one of the things I told myself going into this injury was that, you know, I might not be able to run and train like I normally would in these four, five, six months since having it done, but I'm going to find another way to better myself and make sure that I'm a better athlete coming back than before I got hurt. And so I've done a lot of stuff working on my mind and flexibility and, and really just making sure that my body, the rest of my body is in as good a shape as possible coming back. You know, right now I'm, I'm really just trying to take it day by day and, and get better and do everything I can to make myself as good as possible on a daily basis. And I put together, you know, enough of those days in a row doing everything right and getting everything strong again. And you know, I've got no doubt that, that I'll be back.